the Henry VIII the Moses Chase is next. It's the second race from Sandown, the fourth race of the day, and it's a two mile grade one this time. And at the top is Cabo Valdamo for Darren Thompson, Crisp for David Hooley, Phil and Tricker, David Robertson, Savage Garden, Graham Clitterbuck, The Supreme, Joshua Sutherland, Astonishing Paul Rhodes, Come and See, Leon Van Rensburg, First Act, David Hooley, Phoenix Flames, Paul Rhodes, and The Roadmap for Joshua Sutherland. So 10 this time. The rain's still coming down. And called in and away. A very short run to the first, which they all successfully negotiated. And the roadmap is the first one to show. With the stable companion, the Supreme, just the early back marker. And they're pretty tightly grouped, though. No more than five lengths first to last. And I don't think the roadmap wants to lead, to be honest, because he's slowed the pace right down. They get into the second, and Astonishing has now taken it up. So it's Astonishing, the first of the two poor road horses at Legion. They get over that ditch. That was fence number three. And... Quite a few trainers double-handed in this. Is two for Paul Rhodes, two for Joshua Sutherland, and two for David Hooley. And Paul Rhodes have both got the same colour silks on. So they passed the winning post then with a complete circuit to go with an astonishing five lengths clear of come and see in the second. And then the Joshua Sutherland pair on the inside of that one. And just behind them, Phil and Tricker for David Robertson and the David Hooley pair running together as well. First act and crisp. Phoenix Flames on the second. Paul Rhodes horse on there outside. And then the back two are Cabo Valdamo. And finally Savage Garden. But they're making their way to the back part of the track now. Furthest point away from the stand. And they take this turn. And racing downhill is astonishing. Who is eight lengths clear now probably. To the Supreme who's just gone second. Phil and Tricker is third. The road map fourth. In first act, and then come and see on the outside. Savage Garden is over on the run in between those two. Phoenix Flames and Cabo Valdamo. Well, he's sort of just bringing up the rear because I don't know what's happened to Crisp as they get over the fourth. Crisp appears to have become detached from the rest of them and has in fact been pulled up as they take the railway fences. Then, well, that was a double. They've got the railway fences to come later. Just losing my bearings on the trap there for a second. They get over this ditch and they're all safely over the ditch and they'll be down towards. The railway is soon enough with Astonishing in the lead from the road map in second. And Phil and Tricker and the Supreme with Phoenix Flames leading the second group. We're now just about to merge into one group again as they get into this one. A really bad mistake there by Astonishing. And they say if you make a mistake at one railway, you make a mistake at all of them. And Astonishing has indeed done that and didn't jump any of them. Well, and he's now almost last. So he's gone from first to last with a terrible that are jumping over the railway fences and now the road map is the leader so swinging around towards the pond fence then it's the road map who's got the lead Phil and Tricker is in the second the Supreme is in third then after that one a bit of a gap to Savage Garden of Phoenix Flames on the outside then Astonishing trying to get back into it with Cabo Valdamo on his outside and also um, come and see as they get over the pond fence and I think another one has dropped away now his first act so I don't know what's happening to David Hooley in this race but both of his horses appear to be he appears to have tailed off crisp tailed off and pulled up some time ago and it looks like the road map's doing the same but they're in the straight now then racing down towards the final two and over the second last they go and the road map is over it clearing the lead from the supreme in second and the joshua sutherland pair are racing away as they get over the final fence and it's the road map from the supreme and the supreme is trying to close on the road map but the road map's hanging on and these two are a good eight lengths clear of the rest of them it's the joshua sutherland shows their race up towards the line it's the road map that takes it the supreme second come and see us then Phil and Tricker and Savage Garden and Phoenix Flames astonishing lost it over the railways then Cabo Valdamo and first act I think may have got round in his own time at the end and it's Joshua Sutherland who lays down a claim to the anti-post market for the Arkle with a pretty impressive performance there first and second the road map takes it the supreme second come and see third for Leon Van Rensburg Phil and Tricker for David Robertson fourth and Savage Garden for Graham Clitterbuck was fifth.